Right, we're here with Elizabeth and this is showing you a real life patient with three ACL recons. So all on the left knee. Now the first one was a hamstring graft. So they took that hamstring as a graft. She popped that one. The second one was an allograft, so as in a dead person's one, um, ACL. Was it ACL or hamstring? Uh, ACL. ACL. And she ruptured that again, and so she is now on her third reconstruction reha rehab, which is how many months? 16 months. Uh, 16 months. So she's had one, two, three recons, and the third one, she's 16 months rehab post. So she's doing great. Everything's going great. She's trying to go back to basketball. So she's, everything's going well apart from her landing. Now, because Elizabeth obviously clearly is a female, we have to make sure that she lands and jumps correctly on that leg to go back to basketball. So what I mean is when she lands, when she's going for a shot or she's trying to go ball, she can't land and be that static shear force. She has to learn how to squat and load. Now she's been practicing quite a bit of box jumps, which we've uh, just released on our ACL rehab video. Um, the only thing I'm noticing on her box jumps is her takeoff is pretty good. Her landing, she rolls her knee in. What I mean is, when she lands down into a squat, go into a squat for me, when she lands here, when she lands, she lands okay, but she lands with that one rolled in a bit. Now she does correct it, but the problem is the load landing there, and that's the stress load that I don't want. Now, it's, she can get away with it on two legs, but on one, it's gonna be a problem, and I'll show you on a single leg why we have to correct that. So let's have a look at your box jump first. Come on, this one. So the box jump coming up is okay, so she goes, wide with the knees, goes into a full squat, and lands there. Can you see how she drops down? That's what I want. Show her the one where you don't drop down. So that's what I don't want. I don't want her landing or learning to land like that. So go again for me. And that point there, if you slow this video down, when she lands, she lands a little bit in and then corrects. Now how do we get that better? By single leg work. She has to sort of try and keep that leg clenched and focus on keeping that knee out when she lands. But to help her with that internally, we've got to improve her single leg work. So let's have a look at your single leg work. Obviously, I'd come down to a lower box with that. Um, now, if you watch, do it the way we did it before we corrected it. This is the way before we corrected it. If you go into single leg, I want you to see, have a look at her jumping on a single leg. And keep going, good. Now, what's the difference in that? Okay, she's hopping. She's not doing a box jump on a single leg. So when she does a box jump, she drops down. She's learning that. She needs to learn that on a single leg, and it's way harder. So for you, let's just correct you, show you court. You go straight onto the camera there. So when she, just do it as before, just normal, she keeps her knee nice and straight. She's doing most of the work calf. That's bouncing on her toes. So she's keeping quads, hammies, and glute all sort of static, so she's got stability there. However, if she's going, as a basketballer, if she's going for a shot, she lands two feet, great. She knows, she learns that, she can drop down. If she lands off center and lands like that, this is where people, if they drop down, this is where they're gonna roll in. So she needs to learn how to land on a single leg into a deep squat, okay? now. Again, you can slow this video down and have a look at it, but I want you to have a look at her knee and focus on her knee when she tries to land on a single leg in a straight line, come, come forward court, in the center, come in the center, in a straight line, and when she goes deep. And back, good. Keep going again. Now, if you can you see that little roll now, okay? So what happens, come on the box again for me, Alice. She, when she lands, she then rolls quite a bit, and that's what we've got to try and correct. Now, using a mirror in front of you is gonna be really, really helpful to try and see if you can keep that leg in line, all right? Now, she does a little bit on both, okay? So she has to practice on both, but we have to correct it regardless because she's got an ACL graft there, it's not as strong as this one, and for basketball, we're about injury prevention. So we have to try and make sure that when she lands, she doesn't roll that knee in on a single leg. Now, 
to even further help that, she's got to do lateral and rotation. So her biggest problem she talked about today was her lateral. Like she does not like going lateral, which we've got to get better. So show us that one, Elizabeth. Yep. So her lateral movement, come around this way, cool. <laughs> there we go. Her lateral movement, Again, she's, okay. she's struggling a little bit, and that's just with hopping. Now, try and go, go deep for me, Elizabeth. And it takes a lot of strength with that. It's a lot of joint loading. Go again. Now, so, now surprisingly, she doesn't like, come in this way, she actually doesn't like lateral more than medial. Some, my own experience, a lot of people don't like the medial, so going this way because they tend to roll the leg in, so they tend to roll in. But she seems, you don't mind that too much, do you? Where you go again? See how she's really trying now to drop down and get that depth into that position so she can work out how to control this. Okay, come back to the side again, see if you can do it again. Good, and that's the stability I get it to, wanted to do. Obviously lateral, and then she's got to learn to rotate. Okay, so she'll be coming from one side and then trying to go 90 degrees. Do you want to see if you can try that? And go into a deep one when you do that. That's it. Good, go again. So deep. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And then getting that movement correct will help her basketball, also help her with a box jump, and hopefully prevent that whole thing from happening. Now, let's just go into a side step because we're having a look at a side step as well. For Elizabeth, the sidestep's really, really important in basketball because she's got to try and get around a player. Now before, do you want to show us what you're doing before and then we'll correct it, okay? This is a, come around there Courtney. This is a um, sidestep which is sort of incorrect, if you like, where you go. Now go again, come back on the left one. She's not too bad now. What we want before, what she was doing, was we, she was sidestepping and stopping and then, and then pausing and coming away. So what I mean is she was sort of like bang and then coming away. The sidestep, the load, the land has to be the push off, okay? So she's got to come around a player and then come away. Okay, so it's very important that she can, can change directions, can put her foot out, land and push off. So she's got to get better at maybe slowing the sidestep down as far as coming up to the sidestep, but and then when she can slow down and land, then quickening up the impact and the pushback. Okay, so I'm gonna try that. I know it's confusing, but... So, slowing it down and then increasing. Bang. So that push off, she's got to get more confident with, go your left one again, she's got to get confident with the left land and push off. Because if she doesn't have the power, so if this is, this is her opponent, if she doesn't have the power to step and push around, she's just going to collide with that person. She won't have the power to get around. So to improve her basketball, she's got to be able to step and then launch that way. So the focus is massive lateral component and making sure the power in the spring is loaded up on there. She can't let all the energy go into the floor and stop and then go, oh, I've got to try and go that way. Okay, the, the, in your head it's got to be, I'm going around that player so I'm going to fake him that way. Okay, so that's the sort of stuff you've got to practice when you're doing your side steps. All right.